Mama died today, or yesterday maybe, I don't know. I asked my boss for two days off and there was no way he was going to refuse me with an excuse like that. But he wasn't too happy about it. I even said, it's not my fault. Then I thought I shouldn't have said that. After all, I didn't have anything to apologize for. Celeste's, as usual. Everybody felt sorry for me. And Celeste said, With every blade of light that flashed off the sand from a bleached shell or a piece of broken glass, my jaws tightened. I was thinking of the cool spring behind the rock. I wanted to hear the murmur of its water again, to escape the sun and the strain and the woman's tears, and to find shade and rest at last. I saw he had come back. As far as I was concerned, the whole thing was over. He was just a form, shimmering. It occurred to me that all I had to do was turn around and that would be the end of it. But the whole beach was pressing on my back. The air didn't move. It looked like he was laughing. The sun was the same as it had been the day I'd buried Mama. I knew that it was stupid, but I took a step, one step, forward. <laughs> Mom. 
my eyes were blinded behind a curtain of tears and salt. The scorching blade stabbed at my stinging eyes. My whole being tensed, and I squeezed my hand around the revolver. The trigger gave. And there, in that noise, sharp and deafening, is where it all started. <laughs>